I loved growing up here. I know that it wasn't, but everything seemed simpler. We had a game for everything. A hundred and one games to play in the sea. Or in the garden. Or on the pier. No matter the weather. Daisy chains was a thing we played. You never see that many daisies these days. We'd sit on the pier in a line with a bucket of daisies. Me and my sisters and the girls from the row. We had games for most of the flowers. Ring a ring of roses, of course. We love that. Didn't know it was about the plague, mind. But I hear that might be a load of rubbish anyway. There is a sadness to it, though. We loved making perfume. We must have murdered a dozen hedgerows in the name of inventing sense. I was in charge of giving them names. Passion. Scarlet. Dreams. Buttercups were magic. Ray McCulgan was the only one from the street that didn't like butter, according to the flower and his chin, that is. But he always said he did. And I'm sure he had any sandwiches. But I always believed the flower. The dandelions either meant you wet the bed or granted you a wish. I can't remember the hows or the whys, but they were a stress. An uncooperative dandelion could make your life hell. But it was the chain summer before I started secondary school, we made the longest one ever. All the girls were there. Usually it would only be a few of us, but this day, every girl on the row our age was there. All sitting together. A big line of us. We must have used hundreds of daisies in that bucket. All swinging our legs and singing. A very happy production line. Groiner was probably telling us who her latest fancy was. Neve was probably rolling her eyes, not believing a word of it. They must have been there for hours. In those days, I was barely allowed in the house over the summer. Get out and play! First thing in the morning until called for dinner in the evening. I remember the girl that dropped the chain right into the sea. But I'll not say her name. But she was the only one who didn't stay. And watch it drift away. <laughs> <laughs>